Welcome back, everyone. You are Gaming with a Colonel, and this is Strategic Command WW2 World at War, a mouthful as always. Now, when we last left off, we had encircled the Maginot Line and we're making a push on Paris, and hopefully we will take that this round. <clears throat> on the um, Japanese front, we had taken Nanning, and uh, we had a quite and let's see what's the right word for that, uh, Kwai Lin. And we had encircled a couple of units here, and we're looking to do some strategic destruction there. Uh, that's a Kesselschlacht, if I've ever seen one, right? Or cauldron battle. Okay, the Italians, they were uh, moving forward with their units, and they had set up a wall over here, while in the south, in Ethiopia, they are attempting uh, to do great and wonderful things with their units. Okay, so what do we have? Let's go ahead and start with the Italians down here because we're already over here. They look like they're getting ready to come in. Can I cannot force march them, so the best I can do is make it there, and that's okay. These guys will stay where they are, and of course I think what we'll do is we'll, well, I don't know if we want to take a damage there. I think we'll just sit there. Um, taking damage down here, it's really hard to repair these guys. They just don't come out quickly. And I think we have a unit down here somewhere. Let's uh, let's move him. I want to kind of keep more units from heading north. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to come back up in this direction. We might lose him doing that, but that's okay. These guys are good. They're set. Um, over here, we are really wanting to take out Malta in the long run. But first... We have to do this. So let's finish some Italian moves over here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with moving all the way down here and taking out a couple of additional cities. Okay. Now he will do the same. Move here first. And then, uh, I guess, come on up in this direction, right? That work? Will that work? Sure, that'll work. Why not? Let me take Vichy. This guy here, let's see, that moves one. He's got a total of four movement points, so go in here first, and then coming up here to hold him in place is not a bad plan. Got it. Okay, so what do we do now? This guy is good where he's at. That guy's good where he's at. Let's think about what we're going to do over here. We want to destroy lots of units. That would be the best way to go about this. Um, we have 200. Oh, they have 204. Let's see what we want to spend that on. Um, let's take a look at research for the Italians. They've got infantry weapons. They're good. Um, let's take a look at their units. They've got two ships that need to be fixed. And um, that's about it. So what I'm thinking is, first of all, we need naval warfare for sure. We also need we also need naval weaponry. So at 204, we can get the big one knocked out now, and then go for naval warfare next time. And we're going to want that because we're going to want to bring those Italian fleets out eventually. And if we don't, if we don't use them, if we don't get them out then, uh, you know, the Med is going to get bottled up. We're going to become masters of the Mediterranean anyway. All right. This guy here is going to sit down right there. We're going to use him on an attack here in the future. Okay, because Yugoslavia must not live. All right, so over here, what do we got? We got... Uh, we got Paris, which is fairly well defended with a max entrenchment of one. We can get rid of that entrenchment right away. He is unsupplied, but that's okay. He's just there to get rid of the entrenchment. All right, so that entrenchment should now be gone. Yes, he's got an entrenchment level of zero. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? We're going to knock him out of there somehow. Well, first, but certainly not last, gonna pound him hard, 
and he is covered. This guy here. Hmm. Can we attach him or not? No, we got to unattach something first. We got a lot of guys in there. What are we, who's, who are these guys attaching? The armor, certainly, which is good, but we also want to get that armor attached. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're definitely going to unattach him. And we're going to reattach some armor, especially that guy. Okay, so this is a tip that was given to me about uh, using auto assist and getting the right guys at the right time attached to headquarters so they have the best possible uh, fighting chance against things. Uh, this guy here has these three and that one. Well, can't use those. I could attach these. There's not much going on here. And this guy has one, two, three. Can I attach him? No, he can only do three. Got this guy way back here. He can probably do something. So we'll go with that for now. All right, so first things first, let us attempt to damage this guy as best as we possibly can and get him out of there. Okay, we're gonna pop him. Hurt us a little bit and we need to get out of there. So uh, he is undersupplied and sucking wind. Um, let's get this guy out of here as well. We'll hit and run. Can't get very far. That's unfortunate. Um, this guy, however, can. I just need to move some folks. I'll go ahead and hit him and then leave. Let's do that. Okay, he's going to leave. Thereby giving me the option to get him out of here. Bring in an army unit and destroy him f in detail. All right, that worked out well. Now, he can go ahead and move right in there, which is a good thing to do. He's gonna move, a, we really wanna destroy this headquarters too. We wanna destroy as much as we possibly can now at this point, right? So. That's a one, two. That's not good. So what if I came in behind him? I can actually go all the way down to tours. Let's see here. This guy. He's going to move here. Attack that headquarters unit. This guy's already there. So, oh, that's not good. What's he going to do? He's going to leave, but which direction is the question? Um, this guy could pop me. I don't want to have anything to do with that. So he's going to move. This guy can do some damage and leave, but he can't really do that. Leon, yeah, he's totally entrenched. It's suboptimal. Dijon, we might be able to do something about. So what do we think, guys? Uh, so we've got Paris, but we really want to destroy some more units. Destroying units is good. What can we do with this guy here? We can hurt him pretty good. Um, yeah, let's pop him for three points of damage. Then we can move on. Uh, we're probably going to end up moving back. That's also three points of damage. If I move to Mets, what is that looking like? That's only two. So we'll be back. We'll hit him. And then we will, let's see, this guy here is probably better off there. Uh, we will move that guy, can he make it all the way there? He can. Okay, so we'll move him back. We will move him down and we'll pop him again. <coughs> all right, that hurt a little bit, but that's okay. And this guy can kill him, which would be great, right? Also, uh, like I said, we want to destroy as many units as possible. Uh, this is a technique. Oh, we didn't do it. Oh, that's very bad, very bad, very bad indeed. Let's get on out of dodge. Let's move him up here. Also, a big nothing. 
Ugh, miserable. All right. Should have done that from the get go. We'll get, we'll step on in here. All right. And this guy here is going to destroy him. He's going to move north because I don't want to get him stopped. This guy's going to have to move north. This guy's going to move in here if he can. He cannot. Okay, so what else we got here? This guy wants to get out of Dodge before he gets hurt. So we're going to move him south. All right, so what else can we do some destruction with? We can hurt him, but it also hurts us. All right, so this guy can get the tours. This guy can also get the tours, and he's only got six. Uh, let's bring him down. Oh, he gets some contact. That's okay. Uh, I don't know if we want to light him up just yet. So he's going to come down. Four, five, six. He's not going to have much more movement after that. Oh, we want to hit him. And we want to deliver a crushing blow to the enemy. Back. I'm going to move him in there. Destroy him. Ugh, I'm getting hurt all over. Let's go ahead and cross the river. Let's undo that. Can we get to here? We cannot. Get to here, I suppose, but it's not going to help me much with that guy being there. So um, that's a one, two. Let's go here and just close that out. All right. Uh, keep those guys trapped as long as possible. He can do not much. So. That's suboptimal. He also cannot do much. So let's make him go. Start heading south. Uh, this guy already moved. He's going to stay where he's at. He's going to stay where he's at. This guy will go ahead and reinforce. Luftwaffe needs, uh, needs some peeps there. All right, so he's not going anywhere. He can still move. Let's move him here. Engage in the destruction of this thing. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, maybe. All right, he destroyed the other headquarters. That was probably worthwhile. Although, you know... It's, an, it's a factor of uh, armor, which I'm not going to get back, which is unfortunate. All right, so these guys aren't really doing anything. He can't get in there, but he can slide up into the Black Forest. What's, what's he hiding down there? Nothing really, right? So, um, yeah. These guys are just sitting there. This guy needs to be repaired. I hate it. I hate it when uh, the fleet is damaged. Let me reinforce him. This guy here needs to hide, if possible. He's going to stay in silent mode. He's going to heal up. Actually, I should upgrade him and give him that air defense because, you know, they're coming with air, right? So let's do that. This guy needs to just get out of dodge. Um, he's going to come back. He is going to come back. This guy here is going to go back to here. Okay, he's going to go see what's out there, just in case. Okay, 
it's safe to head on back in. Don't need any kind of uh, bad things happening to my to my ships. Um, he's just going to sit in port, I think. Or should he head back in? He's going to head back. Okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm very concerned about my fleet. I want to keep my fleet in good shape. Uh, that's important to me. Uh, this guy here is going to get his reinforcement because the British RAF is going to continue to fight. This guy doesn't really go anywhere. He is going to go down here for now. And uh, let's see, what else should we do? I don't think there's going to be much going on with the... Uh, with the French. Hopefully they'll surrender. That is the goal. I do have another strike here just for giggles. I don't know if I want to take it, but it's good for experience. Let's take it. All right, that's, that'll work. Um, he also still has a strike. I can move him up. Doesn't really do any good at the moment. He's got a strike. His elite unit can do strikes and move. Strike and move. That's a, that's a thing to do, strike and move. Uh, this guy here has, all, he has not struck yet, so he can come down on the other side of the river and strike as well. Let's do that. Oh, I hurt myself. That's unfortunate. Um, and he can also come down and hit something. Why not, right? Okay, so he's really hurting. He's already had a strike. Can I eliminate him? That's the question. That would be the question. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Eliminating him would be good news. Let's see if we can get it done. We can. He is eliminated. That's phenomenally good, and we will take Chalon. Uh, the reason for that, of course, is we want them to surrender rapidly, right? So the more victory points we get, the quicker they surrender. And we're going to go ahead and move him back up this way. He can't. He's going to get on there. Uh, these guys are good for now. These guys are just sitting there not sure what they're going to do. Okay, so how much money do we have left? 222. We're going to want to do some research. We're maxed on command and control. We cannot do anything here. Max of one. Naval weaponry is going to be maxed. Naval warfare is on. Uh, we're not really concerned about that. Here, we could use another one. We could use another one. So 150. Let's uh, hold off on that for just a second. So we've kind of done what we need to do in France. Uh, we're going to get ready for the assault here. In the south, uh, we're also going to get ready to assault Malta, I think. That's the whole point of me playing the single-player game is I wanted to see if I could get an assault on Malta done. Um, that would be uh, wonderful if I could get that done. Okay. I've never done that before. That's my test for this game. Down here, we're track we are tracking. Here, we've uh, decided that we're not going to do that because I don't want to hurt myself. We have moved the one uh, guy north. <laughs> what we're probably going to do is we're going to if we see any transports or anything trying to go around the horn, we're going to pop them real quick and, you know, stick and move um, and get out. Okay, so for Japan, let us immediately transport this guy. So why do I want to transport that heavy artillery? Well, artillery is going to be the key to breaking through this area right here, right? Or this area. So, or both for that matter. So, um... That's what we're going to want to do. Which one do we want? Do we want up here or do we want them in the center? Um, I kind of want to break through this. It's not an easy break without artillery. So we'll go ahead and uh, bring him up. Bring him in here because we get one more movement and we can get closer. Uh, Going here, it takes one, two. Here, it'll just be one. So we'll bring them right in. We're going to try to break this in the future. 
up here. It looks like we need to do some reconstitution. It depends, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and reinforce this. Okay, let's reinforce that. I don't know for how much. Just one. Okay, well, that's suboptimal, right? So he can't get there. Really kind of wanted to bring him in here, but that's okay. We'll leave him on the road. We're going to go ahead and give this guy his one reinforcement. And uh, think about what we want to do next. We're going to need some more guys eventually. Okay, so we're going to upgrade this garrison. Well, we can wait on that. He's kind of hurting. Probably because he's, oh, he's supplied. He's all right. So what do we got going on over here? This is something that's interesting to me. Uh, he's got uh, an entrenchment of one. I can break that entrenchment. This guy here is probably going to jump on Hanoi, right? So he's probably good where he's at. He can do one damage. He can do zero. Uh, it takes three. He's got four action points. So I'll go ahead and pop him and move up. So we want to totally drop him into the uh, into the abyss, right? So we move him up to do some more damage. And then can we get some more? We can get another one, yes. Oh, hurt ourselves. What a bummer. And he's going to come up and sit in Canton, give us some, some more supply. This guy here can hurt, but we're going to save that for now. So, over here, we're going to break the entrenchment. It's an interceptor. So I got some escorts. Um, ooh, I just got hurt. But I took, his, took out his entrenchment, so that's a good thing. And I can still move him a couple X's. This guy really needs to sit in Nanchang. Uh, there's a reason for that. There are a bunch of partisans all around Nanchang. So we're going to put him there, and that'll clear that area. Now here, without his, uh, without his entrenchments, he's really kind of sucking wind, right? So we're going to pop him. Oh, and we hurt ourselves. That's not good. But we're going to sit in the hole anyway. Okay. And this guy can move up and pop him. Maybe kill him. And he kills him. All right, we got some advances. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, move into the hex. Absolutely. This guy here, we're going to go ahead and reinforce, hopefully. Oh, man, three points is going to kill us for the uh, for the experience, but we got to do it. And then we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, and it, the, the bump up. This guy can really hurt him, which is a bonus, and we should do it. We can move into that space, or we can move forward. I think we'll move forward. It's within two spaces of this, so we don't want to get too close because the communists will start uh, start to fight. This guy here wants to reinforce. Get his three points back. And uh, I could probably could have moved him in here to attack, but that's okay. This guy still has an attack. He should take it. Please hold on for just a second. Sorry about that, team. I had to take that phone call. Uh, I am the uh, president of our homeowners association. <laughs> you know, it's like you're gaming with the colonel, but you're also gaming with a boomer, it seems. So so there's that. Um, all right, back to the game. Uh, we can hurt him, and we should. And then we can hurt him, and we should. And we definitely want to uh, destroy these guys who are kind of out of supply at the moment. Over here, this guy needs to, I don't know, if we go over here, there's no rain, and I can hurt him some more? Should I? Let's do it. Maybe I can get some experience. All right. Experience would be good. I'm going to move him out. This guy here could probably do the same thing. Hopefully it won't hurt him. Hit him. All right. Do it again. Any luck, I could actually kill this guy. Oh no, that is a that blows chunks. Okay, we lost uh, we lost that, and he can maybe come down and kill him again. I want to kill as many units as fast as possible. 
All right, there you go. He's done. Oh, and I hurt myself again. What a bummer. Okay, so these guys are all going to have to go back and refit and get their their uh, elite reinforcements as rapidly as possible. We want to stay up with those. But we did manage to kill that unit, which is phenomenally good. Next time, I'll move into that hex. Um, and hopefully, we'll kill this one next time. So there is that. We've got plenty of money. Let's take a look at some research. Naval weaponry is, we're looking to go to two, and we're looking to go to one here. So that's a good thing. We're trying to get to two there. We have command and control maxed out. We have this at two. We'd love to get another one. Logistics is here. I really do want to do something, something good. Now, the Americans are going to come with a lot of fighters. So I'm going to probably need advanced fighters as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, you know what we need? We need heavy artillery. We don't have that yet. Let's get heavy artillery. All right. Leaves us 161. Um, purchasing nothing worthwhile, so we'll keep the money. Um, we did our thing here. We did not move up there. That This guy here is not going to help us there. He's probably going to need to go north. He is probably going to need to go north. Because he can't get into those mountains. He doesn't have enough action points to get into the mountains. The other thing is he can go south and help out with this cluster. So let's do that. Let's send him south. Okay. This is okay. If they come in here, they're going to get thumped. He cannot do anything because he escorted. Yep, but he can move far if I need him to. Um, which I don't. So, do we have anything else that we need to upgrade or do things with? I really feel like I should upgrade this guy just because if you have a garrison uh, and he's I got infantry weapons or a couple then they do better fast right all right these guys are all chilling um, are we close to uh, naval weaponry we might be we might get a breakthrough so let's go ahead and bring our fleet back for a possible upgrade in naval weaponry I don't think he gets naval weaponry. Okay, you know, that's, that's what I, I kind of want to make sure that I can upgrade all of my units when naval weaponry hits and do it very rapidly. Okay, I can go all the way up here. These guys are going to have to go somewhere. He's going to have to go somewhere. Um, sure, let's go here. Shanghai is one of mine. It's a port of 10. I think I can upgrade from there. Same thing with this guy. Uh, I've got three aircraft carriers. They're going to have to go into port. One, two, three. This guy here. I guess he can make his way in that direction or he can sit up here. Let's see. Okay. So it looks like we're doing all right. I don't know if I can upgrade from here or not. We will scope that out eventually. And don't I have another one? I thought I had a two destroyers. I don't know if I do. I'm not quite sure where he is right now. Okay, so I did not check on the fleet that's out here. Uh, we definitely want to do that. I'm not going to go up there. That's just death. He's got all these. He's got all these destroyers sitting in the English Channel. So this right here, I want to make sure that we keep these guys alive. So maybe, just maybe go a little further south than we normally would just to kind of stay out of stay out of the uh, range of these destroyers up here or any aircraft carrier plus it's raining here so that's a good thing okay so we do have 222 we do want to think about what we want to spend that on while we can we are going to have to have a lot of upgrades here in the near future, um, but research is important. So let's go check a research button. Okay, that's maxed. That is good. We've got naval weaponry to two. That's good. Rocket weapons, eventually we're going to have to get that up. Artillery weapons are good. This is maxed. We can spend 200. So we got heavy fighters going. We could go with long-range aircraft. That's probably needed. We could also go with ground attack weapons. That's probably also needed air defense I don't know what about production or industrial technology what do we think about that I'm not sure 
This is one, two. Oh, I definitely need a third one here. So we got one. We've got one going. That's two. One more is three. That's what we're spending all our money on. Spying and intelligence is important. One for the uh, additional speed on research. And secondly, to try to find units that are out there. That's always extremely important. Okay, so we're going to hit the go button and then we're going to put in the cut. So are we ready for that? I think we are. Uh, let's see, is there anything else out there I didn't think about? That's all good. That guy moved. I think that's it. Let's, let's hit the go button and see what happens. It's August 2nd, 1940, and we're hitting the go button. I'm going to end the turn. Chinese morale is suffers. French morale suffers. We celebrate the capture of Paris, of course, and it impacts British national morale as well. And the French are soundly defeated. Yes, we have victory. You know what? We're going to go ahead and give you Vichy. I do not care about Vichy. So France surrenders. That's a good thing. We plunder just a whole ton of military production points. That's over a thousand. Uh, do we want to build out the port? Oh, of course we do. Absolutely. That's going to be our port for all our, of our, uh, our U-boats in the future. Okay. For modest investment, we could strike at allied naval units in port using a new innovation, a human torpedo. No. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, that's 25 MMPs. No. I'm not going to be attacking guys in port with the Italians anyway. We're just going to run them out of there. Okay, the Minister of War, Lieutenant General Hideki Tojo, says, hey, we got an army forming. You can either have it in Asia or you can break it up and make a bunch of garrison units. Now, that would have been great on turn one. Not so much on the uh, this turn. So do I want the army? Yeah, absolutely, I want the army. <laughs> Get an army. Outstanding. And here we go. Everybody is going to either go Vichy or they're going to go and join the Free French. So anybody that declares neutrality will likely go Free French. Anybody that declares Vichy will be Vichy. All right, we got some fighters over here that have surrendered. That's awesome. Um, that really hurts the uh, Brits. Syria is all okay. More fighters? No, too bad. All right, there's some more Vichy there. And Dakar. There was an operation to try to capture Dakar. So Polynesia, they're going to go free French here next turn. The uh, Spain goes towards me. We take Alsace-Lorraine. That's good. Uh-oh. There's some recon in the desert. And the lease begins. And we march on Paris. It's wonderful. And we've occupied the Channel Islands. And we announce our, uh, its desire. Japan announces its desire to create a greater East Asia co-prosperity co sphere. Also a mouthful. And the UK prepares for a possible Axis invasion. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. And the reason I'm doing that is because the, uh, the BEF got away. So Spanish forces enter the International Protector of Tangier. They've always had their eye on that. And now we get to export some stuff to Germany. It's not much. Oh, we have tank level two. Fantastic. Advanced subs in uh, there. Some spying in Japan, but we have tank two. All right. So that's it for uh, for the August 2nd. And now we have uh, the Allied turn, August 16th. De Gaulle is in there. UK gets more destroyers. All those destroyers for bases, and they just keep coming. Boy, I'll tell you, it's terrible. It is terrible. All right, so we're continuing the mission. And what do we got? Anything else? What about in Asia? What about in Asia? Okay, he tries to replace guys. Can't do much because there's very limited supply there. We should be able to clear this pocket next turn. And he's taking his artillery and he's reducing morale everywhere. Good thing I'm entrenched. Although he's breaking those entrenchments with artillery. Got a lot of artillery. And here come the Brits. 
Here come the Brits some more. And there's that long range reconnaissance of the desert. The desert rats. Let me get that submarine up there. He's going to hurt our exports. Got to do something about that, too. Hmm, perhaps we'll have to buy a maritime bomber. Or did we do that already? I think we might have already done that. We'll have to check. British morale is shaken. Germany celebrates the defeat of France. Operation Catapult. Oh, the Vichy fleet is attacked. And the Admiral orders a partial mobilization of the Vichy French fleet and attack Gibraltar. Nice. Okay, there's some, they join the Free French. That always happens. You know, everybody who's neutral goes to the Free French. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is all of the uh, things that have already happened. It is now August 30th. <coughs> we spot some units. There's a garrison. Okay, Indochina. We can jump in on it. We probably should. Um, hey, don't don't come into the Western Hemisphere. We got this whole thing going on for us. Okay, and we got some new units coming. So here's what we're going to put in the cut. Uh, you've been gaming with the Colonel. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, keep me going. Uh, keep watching. Comment. Tell me how I can do it better. Getting some great comments. The one of the best ones was the. Uh, Force marching of units and the auto assist on the headquarters, making sure that my units that are attacking are in proper supply. That is wonderful. Okay, so barring that, we are now going to go out. Keep gaming with me, and I'm out.